Once a puppet is rigged and ready to roll, time to save it as a puppet file. Now that we've got a puppet that is pretty robust, it's got lots of triggers and, you know, it's pretty well dialed in, how do we export a puppet? So before you do that, you might want to do a little bit of cleanup. So you can see here, I did not name one of the swap sets. You get unthinkable. So I'm going to hit return to rename that and I could call it, you know, hippie. All right. So you're going to want to name those triggers. Other fun things that you're going to want to do. You would want to make sure that if you did do any transformations, so let's say he was a little bit lower and scaled and anything else that was changed in the properties. You need to know that that does not mean that it's actually rigged that way. If you do want any of these changes to transfer to the puppet, you gotta click this button right here. Push parameter changes to source. When you do that, essentially, back at the rig workspace, you could see that if I go to Magnus here at the top level and look at transform, the same values that I pushed out in the record workspace have now been applied in the rig workspace. So that's really essential that what you see is what your client ends up getting or what you would want to work with later. So now that you've clicked the push parameters to source button, just cruise on up to file and export and pub it. And that's it. You'll get a dot puppet file. And I should point out that this will send out uh, inside of that file an Illustrator file or Photoshop file, whichever one you built it with, so that if you do the edit original command or need the original source, that is actually embedded within that file type. So whoever gets that file will be ready to rock. And that is how you save a character animator puppet.